Before you can use an expansion module on your CompactLogix PLC, you have to add it to the I.O. configuration. And start with a new project in Studio 5000 and give it a name, and then hit Next. And in my typical video, I tell you to select the number of modules here. And that's the number of modules to the right of the compact logic. So I'll select two, finish. And if we look at our I.O. configuration, it shows expansion I.O. two modules, but there's no details on what they are. So we need to add them. Now, before we do, I want you to open up your controller tags and see that you have three tags. You have local colon one colon C, I, and O. Now right click your expansion I.O., new module, and there are a slew of options, but if you will just type part of your number, then you'll narrow that down. This is an IE2C, and I do not have the hard one, so I'm gonna select this one, and this is an analog input, and I'm gonna click OK, close. And right away, now we have local colon two colon C and local colon two colon I. And if you notice, there's a number to the left of each one of these. So my embedded discrete had a one. That's where this one in the local comes from. And then my first expansion module is two, which can be a little tricky. So I always look down there to figure out what that number is. Now, I also have a second expansion module, but just to show that I can do it, I'm going to go ahead and download this program. And if you need any help downloading your program or you're interested in other Studio 5000 topics, hit that subscribe button and check out our channel. Then in a previous video, I've shown you how to wire the PLC Tool Sim ALP2 to the analog module. So we're going to go to current source mode. And inside our controller tags, we're going to find local colon 2 colon I. Open it up. And I've wired this to channel one data. So right here it is. And as I start bringing my value up, I'm going to put it on 4 milliamp. And we have 3260. Now I'm going to bring it up to 20 milliamp. And we have 16367. Now that we have it wired and configured, we need to do some scaling because those were some crazy numbers. So click here to learn how to scale a 4 to 20 milliamp value.